okay so what is the two input field the two input field is the the input uh, title and uh, what is that one input uh, description so for that input i am going to be take so input type is a, a text and a name equals to what is this one title <coughs> then what i have to take so value equals to initially will put a empty okay so this is the value then uh, what is the data then on change on change sorry here it is okay. so what i will do i will use a, a post data dot title we'll see i will i will tell what is that one okay so then value is or then on change so on change if anything change happen means we need to change handler okay or else handle change or any anything you can give in a function here. so this is for the the input so next what we are going to do we are going to take for the this is the for the input for a title the next we are going to be take a, a text area okay so just i want to close this one for a while so name equals to body body and i will just i will remove this one because self closing tag because it is also everything we are discuss uh, defining the body is a uh, sorry name is the body and uh, if you want to make any placeholder like that you can use a placeholder what is this one the title and uh, and the placeholder will be a uh, body text something like that and the value equals to what is the value post data dot body you know over here i will explain this what is the post data okay so then what we are going to do on change on change equals to what is the method the handle change or your change handler or change body text or anything so this is a two thing we have defined then the last one is a, the button okay so what is the button button submit a, a data submit data so here the on click on click what is happening here okay so here once i click here in the submit so now uh, we need to call a one method what is that one submit data so this is a my a functionality so what is the submit data is doing so here we are calling a one submit method then it is calling a one form so here what we have to do whenever a submitting anything we need to keep inside a form so for that so just i want to control x and the form and paste here okay so input type is session and here i will call a what is this one that is a on submit on submit so here it is we can specify here so just create here okay so now the submit data when i click on this button so it has to be called the post method and it has to be submit the data so now here i am going to be call the first what is the method the method is a submit method so here uh, i will take a control c 
the constant subrate data is the method equals to open close base okay so this is a my submit data then we are going to be pass the event object okay then e dot event prefer uh, prevent default is a one method is a we'll see this one oh why we need a uh, this one so then what we are going to do we are going to be call the a try catch block what is a try catch block if any error in the posting the data so we need to handle the try catch block so here we are taking a once a data so that is a the constant what is the method the post data post data post data is a method and a set post data is a is a method equals to what is a uh, state use state we are using use state is a hook so what is the initially we are setting so we are setting a json object that is what the a title colon forward slash body colon so title body we are reading right so that is what we are so this is the post data dot title means so here it is empty string post data dot body means so this is the post dot body okay so here what happening here the change handler is the method here also change handler is there here also change handler is there so for that i want to call a so constant change handler so control c control v equals to so this is the function we are calling so here we are set post data so this is the set post data so what i am going to be set i want to set a post data dot 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 post data and what i am going to set so e equals to e dot target dot value colon e dot target dot value okay so where is the e when we click means event object will be raised here from the post data e dot target dot value and e dot sorry e dot target dot this is the what name what is the e dot target dot name so this is the e dot target dot name is the name e dot target dot value is the title so whatever the value we are going to be pass inside the title it is going to be pass here okay so what is the exact value this is the post data so here i have done a little bit mistake so here it is the post d is there i will make it as a d caps so let me get all the camel case okay post data dot title means so this is the uh, name so here it is a uh, the name and a value equal to post dot post data dot title means so this is the value it is there okay once i submit means it has to be shown the data where it is when i click on submit it is going to be called the on submit methods from the on submit method where it is i have defined here just to control f so here it is there so just we'll see okay so what it contains clg what is that one the post data the post data is containing uh, your all data now save it we'll go here code and this is my title is there body is there once i click means it has to be load the data so control shift i just it is open the title will be 
very come to the earlier two years session. So I will add a some calculated exposure here, okay? So once I submit me, this has to be the data. See here. Once I click this, see here the data is coming here. Once I click something here, see here it is showing here. Let's see, I will outflow this one. So it's just what I will do. And JSON port. 
okay so read write and execute okay so let i as i told earlier so again i want to tell you guys so what is a read so anything it is going to be stored from the database so that is the read functionality so just we'll select all delete this one so first i am going to assume, uh, take an example so this is the the facebook login page you know this one okay so this is my login page and here it is a back end code so we get the back end logic okay first what we are going to do facebook so we are going to be entering with the username and password so here it is an username and a password sorry password and there is a one more button is there so button is this one so this is the uh, username password and a, a button is there so how it is communicating to the front end where it is so just first what is this one i want to register okay so first what is the uh, the register in the sense so there is a, some communication will be there right so this is called a one communication okay so this is your front end facebook application and this is the back end server application so what is the two way error mark i showed so it is going to be first what you are going to first you are going to be register so username email id password and it hitting enter so that is storing into a database so next it is coming for the login login username and password it is hitting so that is the sending a data is called a, what is that one so that is called a, a post okay so i want to send a data so that is a sending a data is what a post okay so once i sent a data so then what is a once you logged in means what is happening here so it is going to be redirect to your dashboard okay so this is your a dashboard so this is your a dashboard from here login so once you log in means it is going to be or redirect to your dashboard so what is the dashboard it contains so dashboard is a you it contains a your information what information it contains it contains the uh, what you can say uh, your uh, pro, uh, what you can say uh, your data so what data let's say i will take this arrow only let's say this one so just i want to move like this okay so here it is there and it is loading to your database what you done you entered a username and password and it is hitting to the server so let's say virat and koil is a password once you hit, uh, enter it is going in the form of a post so that post data is coming in the database okay so so what is here so here one more operation is happening here so that is called a get why get so data is getting from the back end to the front end so that is a get okay so this is a one thing so then what i want to do i want to do edit okay i will take here also uh, two way thing only so just i will control c control v so what i will do i will take a here so i logged in and uh, it is going to be database and it is going to be sent virat and virat kohli once i enter virat and virat kohli so all your information from the past 5 years or 10 years all your information is uh, stored from the server that is available into the uh, your database dashboard okay so here something i need to change a password my virat is my username password is a uh, kohli so i want to change my password so kohli at 123 so there it will come up the edit okay so that is called an edit edit okay so that is a two way direction so once you done a edit or update we can say okay so this is called a create this is called a read and this is called a update okay so edit or update then so i don't want this account one more chance is i don't want to keep this account so that is what so that is called a, a delete so 
this is the post is the create edit is update get is the getting a data this the delete so including all we can say what is this one the current so let's say i want to take a one text box so including all we can say this is the curd application what is a curd c for create what is a post u for update or edit r for read so getting a data d for delete so every application is having a uh, what we can say add a delete update modify or a, so curd means what create update read delete got it so this is how it will be works a application okay so now what i want to do i want to create an example okay so here i want to take a i will take briefly so i i don't have a uh, uh, what you can say uh, we don't have a uh, 